We are back again with the ZX9 rebuild. Cleaning the carburetors, they are ridiculous. So this was some of the stuff done on the bowl. Just basically setting so long that the fuel turned back to oil. Uh, this is a uh, Behrman's, I think it B12. It's letting the jets and the emulsion tubes and um, needles set in there. Main jets and pilot jets, stuff like that. The carbs are pretty dirty as well. I then spray them out a little while. I don't have a tripod, so I can't bring you along while I do it. But tops are sort of clean. I'm not done all the way. I got the choke back working because that was frozen. The butterflies were frozen. Those are opening and closing out. Flip this over. Show you that. Just all of them open and close now. Kind of, sort of, kind of sticky when they close all the way. Cut doesn't really sound metal on metal, so gotta clean those. The jets and uh, the floats they were pretty bad. Um, they do still work, luckily. But if not, I've got another set of carbs and carb parts, stuff like that. The tools are scattered everywhere. Stupid. Where all the jets go? I haven't started on here, so you can kind of see how dirty they were. And so all the jets and everything are pulled out, but they were filthy. They still are filthy, actually. So, diesel, actually a different subject, works really well for anything but old fuel. Cleans up real well if you have, um, these are, they were bad, but the, the gaskets in there, if they get hard, you can kind of leave them in diesel for, I don't know, about a day or two, and they'll go back to being rubber again. So you can reuse them versus buying um, a 200 or $150, $200 carb kit, rebuild kit. So, I'm just going to come on here and show you what work for the ZX9. Uh, really, that's about it. I have the carbs off, plugs out. I've sprayed penetrating oil in there because it's been sitting for a while. I noticed when I first turned it over, it should have stopped, but whenever I did it the first time, it was kind of, uh, kind of rough. More than likely, it's, you know, just gunk build up inside the cylinder so hopefully the hopefully you still got decent compression i have an ignition coming in because of course i bought this no key no title not stolen i have ran the van but none of y'all are going to believe that anyways other than that she's still basically the same way it was i keep you know also wd-40 in case you have old plastic and stuff like this or you have a rare rear fender still because you know in the 90s they chopped that off immediately or the old uh, chain guide, or um, chain, no, it's not a guide. I forget what that's called. You can um, spray it with WD-40, it'll soak back in, and it won't be so brittle. And it also gets rid of the, like the white chalkiness on top of the plastic. Uh, if I had some chalky plastic, I'd show you, but I don't. Almost like these, these mirrors where you can scratch it and see it, but WD-40, it soaks it back up and makes it almost brand new again. Um, clean the rat's nest out of here when I pop the rear seat off because I didn't have the key, of course. So I had to bend up the back seat to <clears throat> get to the seat lock. And there was a rat's nest in there, nothing but acorns and all kinds of good stuff. But in case you want to see 91 ZX7, this side's missing. It's actually over there, it's not painted. But this side is. This is there in the factory, in the old GSXR. It's still sitting here, waiting to be ridden, road, whatever. Don't care. But there's mess, junk, bunch of just junk. ZX7 parts. But I'm gonna get back to cleaning these carbs and upload this video.